So w one of our uh, colleagues who worked with uh, uh, Dennis McKenna and myself was a uh, pharmacologist at the University of Kupio in Finland named Jace Calloway. And Jace collected bloods from all of our ayahuasca subjects and all of our non-ayahuasca using controls, took them back to his lab in Finland and ran assays for serotonin receptor density and found, somewhat to his surprise, that there was an increased Bmax or an increased density of these serotonin receptors uh, in our ayahuasca using subjects, which Jace found to be of profound interest because if you look at the effects of long-term uh, use of the uh, ser serotonergically selective uh, reuptake blockers, the Prozac class of antidepressants, you find over time a downregulation or a diminished number of uh, uh, receptors for serotonin. Uh, however, if you look at our ayahuasca subjects, who, by the way, were cleaned out or who had been abstinent for two weeks, you find an increased uh, density, an increased number of receptors. And the implication we felt might have to do with uh, an alternative mechanism for an antidepressant effect. Look at our ayahuasca subjects who maintain very healthy mood regulation. Utilizing a compound once every two weeks that uh, increase density of serotonin receptors, seemingly allowing the central nervous system to be more receptive uh, and uh, to available serotonin. So it would take less serotonin to be present to stimulate the serotonergic system in an appropriate mood regulatory manner compared to the SSRIs, which cause a diminished number of receptors and really which, in a sense, need higher amounts of serotonin to tr trigger the desired response. So we found there are some interesting implications for uh, a potential al alternative uh, uh, mechanism of neuromodulation uh, for treatment of depression.